Okay. We are getting there. I do find the rolling mechanics a bit unwieldy, to be perfectly honest. It is weird just escaping the, the grid. I have mixed feelings on being able to do that so far. any money down here. Yes, there was. Okay. I did not jump off the edge that time. That's the first. It's very well rehearsed at this point. Yeah, I've definitely accepted that, um, in contrast to lots of things these days, uh, Frogger is very much not a expect to get through on your first try kind of game. You have to take a few shots at, at more difficult segments, uh, segments, which is perfectly fine. Okay. I do find this kind of tedious, trying not to do precisely that. Why do I not fall off that part? I'm actually not certain. Because I was holding up that whole time. I thought that I was going down the the ledge that time. Oh, pfft. That was me trying to push really hard against it. Well, I guess what you can do is, um, if you de-transform, so to speak, as soon as you reach the bottom of that slope, that will stop you in your tracks. That'll stop you in place. I seem to do something like, um, like that. Maybe what I have to do. Okay. And then you have to time it correctly, though, with, uh... Oh, what? Okay, I can't stand on their corpse? Really? I figured they'd be fine for you to stand on. It doesn't stop them from hurting you, it just makes them stay in place for a second. That's not what I expected. Okay. Again, we learn things each time. It's like platforming Dark Souls. I do find the collisions with items a little strange when you're in this form. Alright. I have no idea how much more level is after the part that I've been getting stuck on. We will find out today. gone back and picked up that apple in the previous room at some point. I never did think to do that. That was kind of risky. Is there animated skeletons just a normal thing around here?
What? I guess the transformation animation had completed? in front of me. The world. Platform on the gun was one file in front of me. Anyways. Hey, I think about how sweet you go down a hill on this thing. You bounce really hard though. Okay, you, I, you could see a checkpoint there. From above. And then when I came down here there wasn't one. These are, these are basically just teleporting me now. These aren't really room transitions. Actually, no, never mind. I can see a, a little hole in the wall. I can't actually go up there. There we go. And he gets excited if we do that. Surprisingly wet noise when you roll around. Um. Oh, didn't occur to me he had a tongue to it for some reason. Jump to that platform on the left. No, it doesn't have to be a long jump. Precisely. Okay, I'm left from here. I think there's a little shortcut if you uh, do a long jump south, but. Ow. Oh, well, how was I supposed to. That time just doesn't work out now. <laughs> okay, well, almost all of those times that bat was in the way. How do I... I don't know how to get around that cycle. Like, I can't just get off and wait until it's better. Not to mention it was off screen. Um, okay, this is at a point where I'll probably just cut to get back to where I was. Okay, here we go. is even. Okay, so here we are again. Yeah, the first time it seems to work fine. But after that I was just completely off cycle it seemed like. Does I go that way or I can go this way? Oh, was up. Well, what could I have been up there to begin with? Was that some sh kind of shortcut I didn't know about? Interesting. Um, does it matter where they go top or bottom here? They just felt like making a double door, I guess. Yeah, I did try using the ball to protect myself from those bats or whatever they were, but I don't know if it would have worked. It would have been horrible trying to use on the platform anyways. Should be able to get up there. Amazing. I don't know why I get like 
base clefts when I do that, but... Okay, anyways. I think that's everything there is to be done here. That took a while. Nope, didn't let him finish his dance. Anyways. Do you to me how choppy that spreading of the horizontal bar from the top left is for the result screen? I'm curious now, if I quit, do you have to just pay for hats? No, hats are just not available, apparently. Do you pay for costumes? I was wondering if you pay for these things. Apparently not. I don't know when you get to buy things. But whatever. No, I'm here now. Well, what if I... Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But what if I... It's very abrupt. You guys, you guys, nah, these guys hurt me. This guy trivializes quite a lot of enemies, apparently. Not surprised. likes to move the camera there. It really looks like I should be able to get up there somehow, but I guess I can't. And now that is, I guess, too big of a jump for me to... Too big of a... vertical increase of height for me to get over. I mean, it's not that much higher than other ones I've gone over before, but okay. It looks like there was stuff um, on the north side that I could... Okay, here I can go. I don't know if the pain was worth it, but I guess I got the combo. Anyways. Okay, you guys, I can't jump over. I, I can't um, roll over, I mean to say. You, I can roll over, though. No, I can't. I guess you have a pokey nose. Okay, that one was just me being dumb. I know, that one I know I can roll over. So I'll pick up all the things in here. I could have tried to save the apple for later, since I... Yeah, so now I could use that apple level. I feel like I should be able to jump over those spikes instead of... Whatever. I'm probably going to jump over one high block of obstacles if it's just safe ground. If it's not safe ground, then somehow it still touches them. Which I find strange. What creature is this? Oh, come on, man. Places I can go now. Jeez. Yeah. Well, that was down. I wish, I wish it was not. Okay, well, I can't open that up yet. Yeah. Bounce! I'm down here now. This is more like a 
Forgotten Relic, where you don't die if you fall in a hole, you actually. Nice. It is nice that you can protect yourself from some damage if you can navigate some enemies and whatnot. I do like that. Um, so can I push this? Looks like he's trying to. Uh, I don't think... Okay, so I think you can only push those on the darker spots from below, is my guess. That's, that's effectively a one-way path. What's that right there? Not push that either. Okay. Put this out there for later. Wait, can I push these uppers? I don't know if that was very helpful. Oh, okay, well now I can push the other one to the right at least, I guess. So hard you can't tell what color the blocks on the ground are, so you can't tell what can move where. Okay. What can I do from here, actually? I feel like I'm missing something. Or free fry phrase, I know that I'm missing something. Oh. Strictly speaking, I can't push this to the left, can't I? There you go. And he is super slow even to push stuff. Okay. Oh, I didn't... Thank you... That, that block wasn't even accessible a second ago. How is that a part of your movement pattern? Just going on tiles that they never touched before. What? No. Yeah. I don't know why I keep being caught off guard by where I can move these blocks where I can't. Why are you moving here? You couldn't move here before. That's illegal. I'm gonna come back after I report these guys to the authorities. Give me a second.